Hello everyone, I am Mazi if I am also. And so many times in Africa, we've been seeing, hearing about people, especially young ones with talents. But unfortunately, because most of them don't have anyone to assist them for their dreams to come true, their dreams, their talents just die like that. For this reason, we just arrived one corner in our world of in Lagos to discover one young African, one young Nigerian, one young guy who is very talented and creative, but unfortunately, he has nobody to assist him for him to develop what he has in him. He just hid himself in one uncompleted building because that's where he can do what he is doing currently. May we know your name? I guess I got my name is Destiny Samuel Yubakalam. I'm from Imo State, a local government in Anjia, Bata, Nigeria. All right. Um, are you a student or? I graduated 2017 from um, secondary level. And since then? Since then, I've not further to university. Why? <laughs> because of financial issues, you know, trying to seek for assistance and scholarship or sponsorship to further my education. But ever since that time, I have not seen. What about your family? I mean, actually, my father and mother are no more. We are just left to my elder brother and I. Uh, he was unable to further me when I finished, when I graduated from secondary school. So I was not seriously taking more care of my creativity that God will use it one day to bring somebody to me who is going to take more care so, uh, so that I'll be able to further my education. Oh, so sorry about the death of your parents. May their souls rest in peace. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about uh, these things we are seeing here? Okay. All you've seen here are made with carton and cardboard paper. These are buildings, as in existing life buildings. And at times, I bring creativities out of my knowledge. So what you've seen here today, uh, what I use waste material to do, such as cotton and cardboard. I use it to make and construct all these buildings you've seen here today. This is uh, the home, a, a creative art that I designed for our great Nollywood legend. You can see his picture here. This building you are seeing here, it is made with cotton and cardboard paper. I use cotton, I go out there, pick cotton, maybe at times I pick at the dustbin and I times I pick at the, uh, at the way, then I'll be able to use a little money to buy cardboard paper, then join it together and gum, that is glue, to build this thing you are seeing here. So as you are seeing this building now, is a creative home of our great daddy, which I place his picture here. So this is what I actually designed for him, and I look forward to dedicate this building to him soon. So you are talking about um, Pete Edoshia? Yeah, Pete Edoshia. All right. So, okay. Then, and this one, why well, these buildings you are seeing here now are the present work of mine because as time goes on in time pass, I have constructed 53 buildings, different kind of structures, I mean unknown and different types. So I bring the creativity out of my head. But recently, I decided to make some official buildings that are owned by people to let them know that I can do something like this, and at the same time. Let the government know that I can do more in this aspect. So this one now you are seeing now is Zubi Maike home, a Nigerian Nollywood actor. You can see his real mansion. He launched this mansion a few months ago. So when I got to know about it, I said, okay, that I will try my intelligence to see if I can build this creative artwork home. I have not been there. I don't even know where the building is, but. I study it on social media that I can do it since the gift is on me. So I look at it, it's possible. Then I gather my, I went out there to gather my, you know, carton and all that things. Wow. Then I use it to build this creative house you are seeing here. Mm -hmm. And this building is Zubi Maike House and it's dedicated to Zubi Maike. The next one you see here now is uh, the video. Mm -hmm. So this is one of his uh, creative art from my design for him. Like I said, I've done a lot of creativity, it's like 53. But recently, I'm doing buildings that I want to dedicate that to people. Let them see, let them help, let them consider. And then I'm just looking for means to further my education. Whatever I do, all these things. So this one you've seen here now is the video. You can see where I place this picture, picture. here. So wow. this is uh, the video's uh, music home. 
and this is a celebrity's villa. So with his fans, and he's he's popularly known as this uh, old builder guy right here. So this building you are seeing here now is actually dedicated to the video. This one you've seen here now is Nigerian prototype of Asorok, Nigerian Asorok, the home of the president. So I a day came that I said, okay, I think. I can do more uh, among all my creativity because at times I will look at all what I've done. So I said, okay, I want to do some official recognized buildings in the world. So I decided to browse her, but I have not been to Asura before. So, but through the support of social media and the gift is of me. So as an upcoming architect, if I see it, I will observe, I'll be able to put them down. So I downloaded little pictures of what I can see. Then I joined them together and then pray along on it, God help me. So I was able to build the Nigerian Asorok. The next one here is um, Flavor. You can see, welcome to Futuristic Palace of Mr. Flavor Nabalia. So this is a Nigerian popular musician. So, and he also known as Ijele. So uh, this building you see here now is dedicated to Flavor Nabalia. So this is Flavor's Palace. I designed this for him. This is uh, my creative thinking. I brought this creativity out of my knowledge. And this is where he can land through the helicopter. So, and this is a glass bottom swimming pool whereby you can stay at sky of, you know, this building is tall in real life. So it has a glass bottom swimming pool. You can look down the city and everywhere, even when you're in the water. So, and this is the compound. Let me just quickly explain this to you. Like now, this is where the entrance if you come here now, this place is the place people that trek move in. So if you're not driving, you will pass through here. Okay. So by the time you get here, this is a automatic system glass that scans you. Okay. This glass won't open unless you don't have any metal in your body because nobody is here to check you. So by the time it opens, you now go inside here. This is where you meet somebody. So from here, you will be able to be allowed or not being allowed. So when you get into the compound here, You'll be able to, if you are going actually to the building, you move straight. If you're not going, you can stop through this step. You can come down here. So, and all these things we are seeing here now is a symbol of like, uh, a symbol of um, protection of the, uh, let me say, the military. Because you can't attack this compound. Like, when you are maybe in the aircraft, you want to release something like this palace, the thing will not allow with it to throw the thing and power it down that it can't work. So, you know, it has a lot of creativity and a lot of explanation, but this is a little bit I can say now. So this is dedicated to Mr. Flavor. The next one I've done is the USA White House. Like recently, I'm doing a building that I know. So I'm not just doing the one I can do again. So this is the USA White House. So this is just a... This is just a paper. What you see here now is just carton and paper, cardboard paper. So and it's very strong. So there is a way I normally do it as you know my own gift. The thing will be strong in such a way it will be like this. So I use carton and cardboard paper to design this beauty. I have not been to US or the White House, but through the social media I put action to my intention that I want to do that beauty. So I made the USA White House. Interesting. The next one I have here now is um, a product of the UN that I designed for our governor, my governor. You know, like I said, I'm from Imo State. So this is dedicated to Governor Emeka Ihedioha. You can see where his picture is here. So, and I also pray keep Imo great at the side here. So this is a product you can see here is using Ebola in conjunction with the United Nations. So I designed this building, this UN structure officially dedicated to the governor of my state. So the next one I have here is the P2B photo residence. You can see this one. This is dedicated to um, Peter OB. So this is a, a creative artwork too that uh, I want to do to him. So I said, okay, I can, what can I do to Peter OB? No, I have nothing, but I can use my gift so I'll be able to design this creative work, then I get a picture and place here. So this one too, you are seeing now, it's made with carton and cardboard papers too. Everything, all the buildings you've seen are made with such material. So this one you are seeing now is officially dedicated to uh, it will be. Okay, the final one I have here, sir, is the uh, Imo Hall of Meeting. 
So this is what Igbo Congress saw in USA. And we know our president, this is officially dedicated to Professor Anthony Ejiofor, chairman of World Igbo Congress. So this building is actually the hall of the hall of the meeting of the gathering of the Igbos in diaspora because I think every year they will have uh, World Igbo Congress once in a year, once in a year. So uh, I designed this building for them and this is dedicated to the president of that program which I place his picture here. So this is the hall of meeting of World Igbo Congress. So this is the present artworks that I have here and the other ones are in process. Wow. My people, you had it all from our brother yesterday, from Imo State. Um, if you ask me, I would say we must not always relax. We must not always wait for America to come and pick this kind of people from Africa. We must not always wait for Canadian government to come and pick this kind of people. These are the kind of people they are all looking for. But if we can have them here, I believe in the next few years, everywhere, I mean, everybody will be smiling in our own continent or in our country. So, um, having heard from our brother, he is yet to step into university. He just uh, finished his secondary school level and um, as he has said, he needs your support to get to where he desires. By the special grace of God with your assistance, um, I believe that he will make it. So I must encourage you and I must say congratulations because you can just go Thank like you. that without you seeing yourself the next level. Eh? Next <laughs> level. <laughs> Better next level. Eh? <laughs> All is well. I am still mad in defining also comfortable. Some buildings are still in process. You can see this one. Look at this one. You can see the feature. You can see this feature. This is Ifan Yuba. Dedicated to Ifan but the building is still in process. You can see the structure is still in process. Then the next one here is dedicated to Agutok Ogwefi. That is the comedian. You can see the building is still in process and it's going to be dedicated to him once it's completed. The other one that is still in process is this. You can see this is P Square, dedicated to P Square. So the building you are seeing to is still in process. And the last one here is AY Comedy. You can see AY Comedy here. And I'm still doing the structure, it's still on process. So, these are the duties that are still on process you are seeing now. Oh, yeah.